hello beautiful people welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new here you're welcome and if you're returning subscriber thank you so much for always liking my video for always commenting for subscribing for always coming back to watch my video thank you so much so from my previous video i drafted the pattern for this beautiful bat wing top if you haven't seen the video please just go ahead and watch it because this video is about the sewing of this bat wing top so if you haven't liked this video if you haven't commented if you haven't subscribed if you haven't shared this video please do so and let's get started welcome guys so you'll be needing your fabric and also this belt holder so my fabric is a satin slash silk kind of material so you can use duchess you can use satin you can use silk depending on the material you have available but that three is preferable so this is the pattern that i drafted from my previous video and this is the pattern after after cutting the material and adding the necessary seam allowance so this is what i have i added seam allowance to the part where i did not add seam allowance to while drafting the pattern so if you haven't seen the video of how i drafted the pattern i will pin it in the comment section and i'll also leave the link in the description box please go ahead and check the video so that you can understand so this is the sleeve band and it is four inches by the cuff by your cuff measurement that is four inches that is after sewing i'll have after sewing i'll have three inches and three right by right, two so i will have 1.5 you know it's a band it will be folded so this is my pattern and my fabric i'll be removing the pattern so that we can start sewing so this is the material and right now i am cutting the facing for this front bodies you need a facing because you know this part that will be showing after you've put your belt order so for you for that part to look very nice you have to put facing at that area though the facing may not be that much but you have to put facing so that it can come out really nice so i'll flip this over so that you can understand how the facing is cut so this is it you know this pointed area so i just went in by one inch at this area you can do more but my fabric was not that enough that's why it is just one inches but you can do like up to that area then you you just cut it like it to be longer like it to be wider than this so that's just it about that and for the back so i'll add facing to the back the back is pretty much easy you just cut like the regular way we had facing to our to our blouse or top so you just place your material on it and the height depending on you but the shoulder area i'll be using one inch since i'm using one inch for the front so this if you are using more than one inch just know that when you are cutting the facing for the back it will be the same measurement i hope you understand please if you don't understand any part of this video let me know in the comment section and if you understand please just drop a love comment in the comment section too so this is it after cutting it out then i'll measure my one inch over there then i will increase it because i don't want it to be one inch all through so i'll just increase it downward just like that so i'm using one inch at that area because i want the shoulder to match with that of the front so i'll cut it out so we have our facing for the back and this is what it looks like so now i will continue by joining the bigger bodies that is basic bodies i'll join the front and the back together at the shoulder area at the shoulder area there so i'll just pin it down i'll pin it down and i'll pin the other side too so after pinning this down i'll do the same thing too for the facing but that will be later that is i'll pin the front facing with the back facing so i'll sew the facing separately then i'll sew the main bodies separately and that is because i will be adding a collar to this so we want our collar to come out nice 
please if you haven't liked this video please like this video it helps this video perform well so that is it after sewing so the next thing i'll be doing is to sew the facing so i'm trying to place the facing how it will be on the dress so i can know how i will sew it so that's for that side and that's for the other side and that's for the back so i'll be sewing i don't know if you get so i'll just be joining them at the shoulder area so i'll pin it down so that it can rhyme then i'll go ahead and also sew so after sewing this is what i have and i'm trying to trim it so that it can balance with the front area so that's what we have over there so now i'm trying to measure the back area the neck like the back area of the neck to know the color will be cutting so after measuring i have close to seven inches then i will extend the collar to the front by one inch that is the front at the right by one inch at the left by one inch and i have seven at the back so therefore i have ten i have nine inches all together and you know if i want to sew the collar i'll be sewing it with half half inch so that's ten inches that's i'm cutting ten inches and the height of the collar is two inches so i'm cutting five inches like this so when i fold it i'll have two and a half but after sewing with half inch i will have two inches so the color is two inches and you know it will be folded and the allowance and everything so i'm i'm cutting 10 inches by six inches so after folding this is what it will look like it will look like then i'll fix it so i went ahead to add my paper stay i added the softest paper stay i have you don't need to add strong ones and these are the band for the sleeve by the way so this is the color then i'll be sewing with the half inch i had it earlier after sewing that i will notch the mid part at the neck area i will notch it so so as to know where i'll be fixing the color and on the facing too i will notch it then on the color too i will notch the mid point so that i can pin everything in the right way so now i'll place this at the neckline then i'll pin the midpoint first then after pinning i'll be releasing this little by little because you know this the neck is curvy and the color is straight so at least you just free it a little bit so that after sewing doesn't I don't know it doesn't lap on each other kind of so you just free it a little a little so you don't pin exactly you just kind of free the color on it so that when you sew it will balance so this is what i have then i'll use the facing to cover it in this manner then i'll start by pinning the midpoint i'll pin the midpoint i'll pin the joining at the shoulder that's just the main part because everything must match so the midpoint the joining at the shoulder for the right and the joining at the shoulder for the left so after that i'll place this together like this then i'll just sew with my half inch seam allowance all around so yeah i'm just removing the pins that i added i'm removing, I'm removing all the pins that i've added then you notch the area so that it can turn out very well it's very important to notch so it can turn out really nice so after turning it out this is what i have then the next thing i'll be doing is my sleeve area i'll be making the gathers i'll be gathering this edge to my cuff measurement and you will use your band as your guide because it is your exact cuff measurement with your seam allowance for joining so you just use this as your guide then you sew it just like that 
as you can see that i added paper stay to my band so that it can give it structure so i went ahead to sew the side and this is me turning it out and it is looking really nice it is coming together gradually so this is the side and the only part left now is just to hem this lower part the only part remaining now is to hem this lower part for us to hem this lower part we'll be hemming, hemming it in this manner you'd see this facing area you will turn it over and we sew you will turn this facing area and you will sew so in this manner it will make it neat you know that part that overlap after putting our our belt order yeah so for it to turn out nice so you sew that part then the remaining part you just aim the normal way i don't know if you understand so the the part that has the facing we turn it over that is the right side facing each other then you sew to the end of the facing then the remaining part you just aim it so this is what i have this is what it looks like after ironing i've not done the proper ironing but the first ironing this is what it looks like um i'll place my belt order there if you want to know how to fix this i'll do a video at the end of this i'll do a short video at the end of this video towards the end of this video to show you how to fix this while you are wearing it because you have to fix it properly so that it can look nice on you so towards the end of this video there's a tutorial on that so let me know in the comment section if you understand this video if you understand just drop a love comment so i will know you understand and if you don't understand any part please let me know in the comment section and i'll reply you as soon as i get the comments so if you haven't shared with your friend please don't be stingy share with your friends that you know they will love this tutorial share with your friend comment like share and please if you haven't subscribed please please and please and please please subscribe to my channel it is very important so this is the top this is the closer look of the top and this is it on me after putting it on so this is me showing you how to fix the belt holder so this is the belt holder then you then you pass in the first wrap of the Dress, the first end of the dress then you place the second end too like that and you pass it over then you try and adjust it that is you make it tight if you want it to be tight as i've said earlier in this video that the length i use make this wrap top a crop and i love it the way it is but if i want to make another one i'll try and make it longer i use 16 and a half inches for this to achieve this length so if i want to do if i want to sew another one i will probably use 20 inches length so that is just what i will correct but as for this i love this how it came out it came out really really nice as you can see here it came out beautiful it is very beautiful and it is very lovely please if you haven't liked this video if you haven't commented if you haven't shared if you haven't subscribed please do that yeah thank you so much for doing that and i'll see you in my next video bye